I, I think a way that can help help us move more and more is well doing exactly what you and I are doing, meaning uh, connecting this movement and this kind of therapy, this this work and um, this change in culture to other professions, to other people who have like a platform and and yeah, invite questions, uh, invite people to experience themselves and, and have discussions. Like I, just, I was talking with a uh, sex therapist and he, I think he does a lot of other things, but we were just talking about like, yeah, we should, we should have a, uh, like a, a panel, like a panel discussion yeah. about this and, and how great. this can, can benefit people that he serves. Um, Cause yeah, it's, um, it's all just, it's also helpful. I think it's, similar to the ideas of uh getting like exercise more into right. like, mainstream healthcare or things like that like these things are really they're really helpful and maybe we can fo- we can benefit by focusing on more of them like incorporating them and yeah seeing how they can be incorporated into mainstream concepts mainstream advice and and uh industries I think it's huge and I, I love the question because it's like, all right, I feel the challenge. Like, all right, I feel fear about yeah. like being more proactive yeah. and being more, yeah, out loud and asking, asking for that. And like, heck yeah, like let's I'll do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So I think definitely like a some sort of panel discussion would be great. Or even if we um if we both like had a table at some sort of community event, mm. I think that's also helpful. Um, resource fairs that you know are definitely germane to Philadelphia it's like always there's always some sort of festival happening in Philly especially in like West Philadelphia area around Penn's campus there's always mm. things to do so um you know and I'm challenging taking the challenge myself to also mm. okay yeah, I'll pay attention to those things so that you and I can team up and like have some mm. sort of um way of just reaching the masses mm-hmm. <laughs> you know and I think will be helpful yeah yeah and yeah, since this is well, I'll, I'll definitely say to anyone who may be viewing this, if uh, I mean whatever profession you are in, but especially if you're somewhere in like the healthcare or mental healthcare fields uh, or anything else where you feel like, yeah, us talking or collaborating could be helpful for everyone. Yeah, please reach out to me. Um, maybe reach out to to Rashida to talk if she's open to that. Um, and I. Yeah, I know this is something that's new for people, and I think it's like we were saying before. It's sometimes it will just the most valuable thing to really understand it can be to experience it. So, like, I'm definitely open to that as well. Like other practitioners or leaders right. um, to doing a, like some kind of barter or like to, to experience a session mine or experience like a platonic mm-hmm. um, like communication consent uh, cuddle cuddle workshop things like that, uh, or even yeah, free if it's something like maybe that, you know, they could refer to their clients or, or people that, that they serve. So yeah, definitely reach out to us and can only make the world better in that way. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah, we, we definitely can team up and share some dates and like, you know, ways to, you know, like I said, to affect uh, the, the larger community. So we yeah. certainly can team up and do a cuddle workshop. Mm. I have not done a cuddle workshop in a long time. Mm. So that, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, and just what's really coming up for it now is I'm like, oh, like, Rashida, you're so awesome. Like, I, just, I feel so inspired. <laughs> yeah, I feel connected and supported in this. Like, I really do feel so thank you. This, is, yeah. this has been um, so beautiful for me in, in so many ways. Um, I just, yeah, I feel like juiced. I feel so, I know, so about what we're talking about. So exactly what we're talking about, the connection and like, yeah, just really crazy. present. Um, yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Hey, be like, hey, if you want to feel like Kyle and I, where you feel <laughs> all loose and stress-free, <laughs> you do this amazing kind of workshop. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah totally. good stuff, good stuff. Um, are you are you open to uh you're just giving kind of like an energy hug right now or like I know oh my the, god yeah. so oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I was in person yeah hmm. yeah really good yeah definitely we gotta meet up for coffee soon Kyle yeah let's do we it again meet up for coffee sure that'd be wonderful and mm-hmm. um yeah to maybe invite some other folks whether it's other cuddlers or other 
or other types of practitioners that, that any of us know. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll share as maybe not put on, I don't know if I put this public, but, um, I've just been meeting, I just met, I've been talking more with uh, this woman named Nicole Ananda and she has a practice that one of the things they provide is uh, surrogate partner therapy and she's in Jenkintown and, um, just, it just seems like there's like a lot of great connection and like mm-hmm. overlap or d- of different stages that, you know, we can support. Arrogant partner therapy? Sorry, like surrogate partner therapy. Therapy, wow. And uh, it's pretty neat. So yeah, so maybe even, yeah, if we get coffee, man, invite her or something like that. Um, yeah, so. Good stuff, good mm-hmm. stuff. So this was great. Mm. I appreciate you talking mm. with me and just being a part of this experience and adding to my morning. So mm. this definitely helpful to me and I, I appreciate it. Me, me too. Me too. Um is it is it cool? I uh well I, I, I use the word like love generally a lot in platonic. I just like I got, I, I love you, Rishi. I just I really appreciate you. you. It's so sweet. So thank You're you. You're my person. See, mm. it's good to like to talk with